What world-leading green engineering are we seeing from our government? In Sweden, they've just started making steel with green hydrogen. And the, the Sunak and his suicidal government want to open Cumbrian coal mines. Right, so hang on a second. What are we going to see next? Children up the chimneys? This is a, a, a backward or whatever government. Actually, it's the UK that's been leading the world on the environment, dropping carbon emissions, leading the way uh, at COP26, uh, COP27. So that isn't right. So oh, the facts I... are wrong on that one. OK. So what you're saying is, well, it's, it's too late to do anything, and that's not true either. So wh that's why I say when you're coming out with these alarmist statements, which some of us, you know, are questioning, lots of other scientists are questioning, that's when we say, is it some sort of cult? I'll ask you something else. What do you do... What do you do, sort of, what do you do during your day? What jobs do you do? What do you do? I mean, me, personally, yeah. uh, I work in hospitality, and, and I'm a mother, so I have a seven-year-old. But when you, I want to, so, it's a so really a great point. you're a full-time worker? No, I'm a part-time worker, and, part and, and worker. a single mother. And then the rest, and a single mum, and then the rest of the time, you just go on demonstrations. You've got the time to do demonstrations. I don't have a great deal of time, actually, but... I would much rather be with my son, but I, I have to do this because not enough people are doing it because of broadcasting like this. We are not world leaders. That's a lie. I tell you what we are world leaders in. We are world leaders in the UK in biodiversity and habitat loss. We've got a government that want to rip up 570 laws protecting our wildlife. We have sewage, sewage spewing into the sea. Honestly, this... this Cumbrian coal true. mines. This, really? This Nick, are you, are, are you, are you, are you persuaded Honestly, by any... It is true. Any, you, and I'll tell you what, oh, when... Oh, I want to bring somebody in Nick, who has you, been a chief I, of staff at number 10. Are you persuaded by any of Laura's... Uh, not remotely, I'm afraid. I mean, I think when we're talking about things like biodiversity loss or when we're talking about pressures on the environment, um, it, it, you know, the response is always quite monomaniacal, um, if I may. I mean, it's always that Britain itself isn't doing enough, that, um, that it doesn't matter what other countries are doing, we, ha we always have to go further. We always have to go faster. I mean, one of the pressures on the environment in all sorts of different ways in this country is the, the speed of the population increase. But, of course, we don't hear things like, oh, well, we need to control immigration uh, mm -hmm. from some of these campaigners because it doesn't suit the ideological agenda of the organisation. Well, what about that? If you're looking at population increase I mean, and looking at our borders, are you, as somebody concerned about the environment and building on the environment, would you also say we need to stop... Uh, the size of the immigration coming into this country. Are you championing that as well? I work in hospitality. Just, and are you, are you no, no, I, I, I'm, well? I'm answering the question. I work in hospitality mm -hmm. and it's a sector that has massively been affected. We have such uh, staff shortages in unemployment, uh, in hospitality. We could easily have more people coming in. And, OK, but so I your answer there is no, you wouldn't stop people coming into the country, which again then would need we to need build jobs. more. We well, need or jobs. maybe if some of your uh, protesters started, if, million if some of your protesters started working rather than causing havoc on the streets, we might be able to solve both problems at the same time. If governments we? weren't going to open coal mines and take us back to the dark ages, I mean honestly, we'll have children up the chimneys by Christmas, will we? Next week, will Prime Minister's Question Time be in VHS? We're not world leaders. We say, I mean, I have we to say, know, Laura, we lie. Children up the chimneys by Christmas. I mean, this is nonsense what you're spouting now. As is that was a joke. If, if you can't see that, that uh, was Andrew, a joke. Andrew, you're but quite, you're, quite a, a you're joke. quite a green person, aren't you, yeah. Andrew? So, what, are you? Are you? Are you? Are you influenced at all by what, what I don't get is the tactics. I mean, do you think these tactics win people over? I mean, it's surely the reverse. They they alienate people, don't they? And, and you know, and what's the obsession with paintings as well? Why do you keep stuck, sticking yourself to paintings? I mean, you know, sh you should call yourselves just stop oil paintings. <laughs> 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 and interesting today, you know, um, one of the oil protesters has said, the stunt ruined my life. I mean, this is what he's saying today when he was closing the London orbit and he was in court, and this is Alfred Bezik, 26, took part, and he said, it's actually ruined my life. So, again, is it ruining your life or is it making your... Is this the only thing in your life? Absolutely not. I have a seven-year-old. I have lots of things I'd be much rather doing. But I need to bring a very important point because you've said again, and it gets t said all the time on programmes like this, we are not world leaders. We say 1% of emissions. We do not include aviation, transportation, our imported goods and our military. And we're a very small country. So our carbon emissions have dropped by about 40% over Because the last... we're not including so aviation, transportation... We didn't include them then.
The, we, the we're not like for like figures, like for like figures, we've dropped by about forty percent. And what will happen when we decade. open these coal mines? So 